Welcome to my channel, the most hardest places to visit. Imagine yourself as an adventurer ready to conquer the most extreme weather conditions on Earth. Picture this, you're standing at the precipice of the unknown, a vast expanse of wild, untamed nature stretching out before you. The air is thick with anticipation, your heart is pounding in your chest, and a thrill of excitement courses through your veins. You are not just a traveler, you are an explorer, an adventurer, braving the elements to experience the raw, unfiltered power of Mother Nature. You're not the type to lounge on a beach basking in the warmth of the sun. No, you crave the thrill of the extreme, the invigorating rush of pushing your limits, of testing your endurance. You yearn for the kind of adventure that takes you to the very edge, where the weather is not just a backdrop, but an integral part of the journey. Imagine trekking through the coldest town on Earth, where the air freezes in your lungs and every breath is a testament to your resilience. Picture yourself battling the winds in the windiest city, where each gust is a challenge to be overcome. Envision standing in the heart of the region with the most thunderstorms, where the sky lights up with a spectacular display of nature's power. This is not a journey for the faint of heart. It's a journey that demands courage, determination, and an unquenchable thirst for adventure. It's a journey that will test you, push you, and ultimately change you. You'll face obstacles, of course. There will be moments of doubt, moments of fear, but you'll find a strength within you that you never knew existed. You'll discover a resilience that will carry you through, a tenacity that will not let you give up. And when you emerge on the other side, you'll have a story to tell, a tale of adventure and courage, of extreme weather and the indomitable human spirit. And so our intrepid adventurer begins his journey, ready to face the raw power of Mother Nature. First stop on our adventurer's journey is Oymyakon, Russia, the coldest inhabited place on Earth. Brace yourselves, folks, because we're about to delve into a world where the average temperature in January is minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit and mercury levels have plummeted to a bone-chilling minus 90 degrees. Getting there is no easy feat. The adventurer's journey begins with a flight to Yakutsk, the world's coldest city. From there, it's a two-day drive along the Road of Bones, a highway with a history as chilling as the weather it braves. Picture this, a journey so treacherous, it's named after the prison laborers who perished building it during Stalin's rule, and whose remains are said to be buried within the road itself. Upon arrival in Oymyakon, our adventurer is greeted by a town that is, quite literally, frozen in time. Here, life takes on a unique rhythm, shaped by the relentless cold. Cars are kept running round the clock to prevent their batteries from freezing, and outdoor markets operate in sub-zero temperatures, where even the fish sold are as hard as stone. Schools only close when temperatures drop below minus 52 degrees, imagine that. And the locals, they are as hardy as they come. They've adapted to the harsh environment in ways that boggle the mind. For instance, they've perfected the art of flash freezing meat and fish outdoors in the blink of an eye, and they've learned to use frozen horse milk as a source of essential vitamins during the long winter months. Despite the challenges, our adventurer finds a strange, icy beauty in Oymyakon. The snow-covered landscapes, the shimmering northern lights, the frosty breath hanging in the air, it's a winter wonderland like no other. But as with all adventures, it's time to move on. Having braved the icy chill of Oymyakon, our adventurer is ready for his next challenge. Stay tuned, folks, because we're just getting warmed up. Next, our adventurer heads to Wellington, New Zealand, the windiest city in the world. Imagine a city where the winds never seem to sleep, where the gusts play an eternal symphony with the city structures, and where the people have learned to dance with the breeze. That's Wellington for you folks. Nestled at the southernmost tip of North Island, New Zealand, Wellington's geographical location makes it a juggernaut for wind currents. In this city, the winds are not merely a weather phenomenon, they are a way of life. Experiencing gusts up to 60 miles per hour is not uncommon here, and the city's residents take it all in stride. You'd see people leaning into the wind as they walk, a sight that might seem peculiar to outsiders, but is just another day in the life for Wellingtonians. But the winds are not just about bracing yourself against the gusts. They're also about harnessing that raw, untamed power for good. 
Wellington has become a beacon for renewable energy, with its wind turbines dotting the hills around the city. These giants dance with the wind, transforming its kinetic energy into clean, green electricity. But what's it like to be in the thick of it, to feel the wind against your skin, to hear its howl as it sweeps through the streets? It's a thrill like no other. It's the pulse of the city, the rhythm to which Wellington moves. The wind whispers stories of distant oceans and far-flung lands, of the power of nature and the resilience of man. While the wind may be relentless, the city has adapted. Buildings are designed to withstand the gusts, trees grow at angles, leaning into the wind rather than away from it, and the people have learned to live with this constant companion. After wrestling with the relentless winds of Wellington, our adventurer is ready for his final destination. Because, in the end, isn't that what travel is all about? It's about stepping out of your comfort zone, embracing the unexpected, and finding beauty in the raw power of nature. Finally, our adventurer reaches the region known for having the most thunderstorms, Central Africa. In the heart of this vibrant continent, the sky often puts on a show that leaves spectators spellbound. As the day transitions into night, the horizon fills with ominous dark clouds. These are not your everyday rain clouds, but the harbingers of one of nature's most electrifying spectacles, a thunderstorm. As the first drops of rain begin to pelt the earth, the real show begins. The sky lights up in a dazzling display of power and beauty as lightning streaks across the vast expanse. Each bolt of electricity is a testament to the raw, untamed power of nature, illuminating the night sky in a spectacular dance of light. The thunderstorm in Central Africa is not just a weather event, it's an awe-inspiring spectacle that commands respect and admiration. The adventurer watches, transfixed as the storm rages on. Every thunderclap, every flash of lightning is an adrenaline rush, a reminder of the thrilling unpredictability of nature. As the storm intensifies, it seems like the sky itself is alive, pulsating with energy and power. The sights, the sounds, the smells all contribute to an experience that is both humbling and exhilarating. In the face of such a spectacle, the adventurer can't help but feel a sense of awe. The sheer force of the storm, the raw power it represents, it's humbling. It's a reminder of our place in the grand scheme of things, of the untamed power of the natural world. But along with the awe, there's a sense of excitement, of being part of something bigger than oneself, of witnessing the raw power of nature up close and personal. It's an experience that leaves a lasting impression, that changes the way one sees the world. It's not just about the thrill of the storm, but about the connection with nature, with the raw, untamed power that drives our world. Having faced the raw power of nature in its most extreme forms, our adventurer ends his journey, enriched by these unforgettable experiences. Now it's your turn. Which of these extreme weather locations would you dare to visit? Please comment, share, and subscribe to join us on more thrilling adventures.